Hey, hey, it's John Hollis with Rockers and Recovery. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. We've got a great show ahead of us. Um, Michael um, Mitzwinski is on with us, and he is a part of the Mitz band that's going to be playing at the Love of Recovery Music Festival. Uh, that's going to be coming up here pretty shortly. It's uh, September the 9th, and it's from 12 to 5 p.m. The, en- the venue is uh, Kirby Park in uh, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, and this is uh, going to be a huge event uh, to be able to, and it's free. Uh, everybody's welcome. It's to be able to, you know, carry a message of hope through music, but most importantly have, you know, people come out and see that recovery does work. Most importantly, that it shines through music, and you get to uh, hang out and have some fun fellowship and music. Um, Mike, how you doing today? Welcome to the show. I'm I, you know, thank you for uh, taking the time to be a part of the show today. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. I'm doing great. That's a beautiful thing. So give us a little background on the whole music aspect, uh, where you, you know, um, where you came into music, how old were you? Sure. Uh, so my parents met in music school and uh, had me shortly thereafter, and I was born into a family of uh, real rich music, uh, you know, a lot of family members on both sides are either artists or musicians, and uh, it just looked real attractive to me from as you know, as long as I can remember. Uh, my dad is a phenomenal guitar player. He had a guitar in my hand before I could talk, and uh, wow. I started sitting in with my family's, uh, some of their bands and things like that when I was really young, probably like eight, nine years old, and uh, got my first band going when I was 15 and did some recording, and uh you know, over the last 15 years, yeah, it's just been uh, kind of a whirlwind in many ways. Uh, some some bad, uh, more good, but um, just been lucky to, to do what I do. It's my primary, uh, you know, way of living, and uh, I, I write songs and record music and play shows, and uh, things have been pretty awesome. You have a song called Dope Sick Blues. Tell us about it. Sure. Well, um, I wrote that song. So in my early 20s, I, I, you know, obviously this is a sort of recovery-oriented interview, so I don't have to worry about, you know, whatever, uh, talk about this stuff. But yeah, my early 20s, I basically bounced in and out of rehab centers um, for years. I was in 10 different rehabs, and after one of those rehabs, I would often get out and, and find myself, you know, using again in a very short period of time. And uh, I, re- it was one of those real, real bottoms uh, that I wrote that song in because uh, I didn't have a place to live. And my mother was selling our childhood home, and I was actually sort of sneaking in there, um, sort of breaking in at night to sleep there because no one was living there and I had nowhere else to go. And I remember they moved all the furniture and all the everything out of the house, and I had just gotten out of rehab like a week or two prior, and I, and I was already using and getting sick again. And the only thing that was in the house was this roll of carpet sitting in the living room, and I just sort of sat down, you know, grabbed the guitar on the roll of carpet and just started writing that song. Now the key point of it is I didn't finish it until I got sober. So, <laughs> But that's sort of the, the, you know, condensed version of how that song came to be. Yeah, it's a cool thing because you're, you know, again, singer songwriter. Uh, you're a great guitarist, and you started the Mitz Band. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the Mitz Band and and um, what you're planning on doing at the uh, Love of Recovery Music Festival? Sure. Well, my last name is Ms. Linsky, and uh, it was always hard for people to pronounce it, and the papers would always get it wrong. So I just sort of made the band called Miz, um, M-I-Z, uh, just kind of after my last name or whatever, and. Um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm currently working on my third third studio album, so I'm hoping to have a nice mix of new tunes, you know, kind of mix of old tunes and new tunes to to do off the album. And I, I recently put a really great band together. Um, we played uh, a few nights ago. Um, they've actually actually been playing with two drummers now, which has just been fantastic. Um, played our first gig a couple, you know, a week or two ago, and. Uh, it was just the the energy was explosive to have two drummers playing and uh yeah it it just um you know it, it's a mix of we call it americana rock um but there's all sorts of elements in there you know folk blues um jazz it it gets all over the place you know so a lot of originals we are going to be looking at a lot of different uh, uh originals that you've written yourself is that correct yeah yeah i have four albums worth of tunes 
And, uh, yeah, I was lucky enough, uh, too, to get a few of those tunes on uh, the television show Sons of Anarchy. I'm sure a lot of people know. Actually, Dope Sick Blues is one of those tunes. And you've opened up for America, the Wallflowers, Derek Truck Band. I mean, it goes on and on, Blues Travelers. Um, what was it like for you uh, to be able to do that and, and, and be in recovery? I'll tell you what, it, it's it's a really neat thing because I never would have gotten any of those opportunities had I not get so had I not gotten sober. And the great thing about it is is I did crash and burn so hard for so long that when I got sober, I obviously you know got uh, you know surrounded myself with positive people. But all the regular people, just regular people in the world, non addicts, you know, people you you run into in the music business, people were so respective of of the fact that I was clean. No one was offering me drugs or anything. People knew better. And if, and if someone did, you know, the people around me sort of just shunned them away, you know, uh, peacefully. And it was a really neat thing because the first band I ever went on tour with, and I didn't know this until I got in the van, but the bass player, um, who had played in, in the European fusion band gong, his name was Hansford Rowe. He was 23 years sober. And uh, my first experience with being on the road, I got to share that experience with someone who was 23 years sober, and we helped each other, and we toured for two years, and it was amazing. And uh, it's just really amazing. You know, when you do the right thing, it's almost like, you know, the universe just has your back, you know? And I know a lot of people think that playing music is... is, um, you know, is, is a tricky situation, and, and it's going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of drugs around. But, you know, I found the same thing to be true if I'm a carpenter or a roofer or any type of job you work. It, you know, there's no way of getting away from it, you know. And it was really neat for me to be able to surround myself with positive people. And uh, not to be too long-winded, but um, some of those uh, gigs you talked about, like uh, especially opening for Derek Trucks, that was one of the coolest moments of my life because he's one of my favorite guitar players. And uh, halfway through our set... I looked over and he was just sort of sitting behind the monitor board, nodding his head, like giving me that little like smile, like yeah, it sounds great. And um, and even America, I've always loved America, and uh, they didn't tell me, but you know we opened the show for them, and we, I was out in the crowd sort of listening, and they just called me up. They're like, all right, we're gonna get Miz up here now. They didn't tell me they were doing it or anything, and I just sort of jumped up out of my seat and ran up on stage and got to play Horse with No Name with them, which is obviously a you know, well-known song. It's just sort of surreal moments like that where you really realize, like, wow, man, I'm I'm really lucky to be doing this right now, and, and I'm really grateful for my sobriety, you know? So. That's great stuff. I'm really, really happy that, um, you know, you are, uh, you know, somebody that carries a message of hope, and you're out there, and you're a face of recovery, man. That's a good thing. And the music aspect of it and the music that you write, um, I'm really, uh, you know, glad that you're on the show today. But most importantly, blessed to have you a part of Rockers and Recovery Music Fest coming up uh, September 9th in Wilkes-Barre. And uh, we look forward to, uh, you know, having you back on the show and talking about more stuff. But recovery is the base, and 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 music is uh, how we transport that message of hope. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's my honor. It's, it's. I'm really looking forward to to playing, and it's. Uh, pleasure talking to you thanks for doing what you do yeah man you too hey listen uh what uh where can they find you uh you know and find your information sure it's really easy you just uh if you google or whatever it's just mike miz music.com miz is m-i-z and um you know you'll find me on all the social media and the facebooks and instagrams and all that stuff and uh one other place if uh you know i have all my albums up on uh Bandcamp. For streaming, so if anyone wanted to check out, you know the 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 albums and listen to the tunes, you know they're all available. You could listen to every song, and uh, that's Bandcamp.com/slash/MizMusic. Love it, man. We appreciate you being on the show, and most importantly, if you're listening today, uh, you know that uh, recovery is possible, and Miz uh, is definitely uh, somebody that's carrying that message. Again, thank you for being on the show. We look forward to seeing you September. And um, anything else in closing that you would like to say? Uh, no, just looking forward to the fest and, uh, you know, uh, just a message of hope for everybody out there to just, uh, you know, keep on keeping on, you know, uh, never lose hope. And, uh, you know, recovery is always, always possible. So I just uh, I really appreciate you talking to me today, and, and uh, it's been a pleasure. Always a pleasure to talk to somebody like yourself, Mike. 
Uh, keep up the good right work, and, and, and thank you for, uh, you know, all the blessings that you put out there music-wise. Have a great day. Thanks. No problem. All right, guys. There you go. We have, um, you know, some really cool things that are happening with Rockers and Recovery. You can go to rockersandrecovery.com. Rockers and Recovery Media is dedicated to carrying the message of addiction recovery education. We do it through music, news, events, and festivals taking place within and not limited to this clean and sober community. And uh, we are going to listen to uh, two songs. Uh, One of the songs is Dope Sick Blues, and the other one is October Skies, both by Miz. And, um, you know, one of the things that uh, Mike uh, brings to the table is a really, really unique way of writing. So check out Dope Sick Blues, Rockers and Recovery. Com. It's 5 a.m. and the sun will be rising soon There ain't a damn thing I can do It's cold outside and I feel like I'm ready for the spring Oh, just to hear the morning sing in sweat Just trying to get used to living endlessly in debt I spent the last few years just digging my own grave Yeah, and suffering like a
here I am still running on all back to you Well I'm so tired of having these adult sick
on back to you, babe. I keep crawling back to you, babe. Every time. Now the autumn comes so subtle, like the roses in the spring. And you wake one day and realize, man, it's such a beautiful thing to keep on shooting for the stars, son. Oh, you end up in the mines, and you never see the daylight. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over a hundred casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. Eighteen plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. See care in a new light at Madonna Rehabilitation Hospitals, where top medical minds lift you up. Where the very best in specialized rehabilitation brings out your very best. Where over 60 years of breakthroughs in research and technology spark your newfound strength. In our world-class hospitals, this is something greater than rehabilitation. It's renewed strength for life. Learn more at madonnarehab.org.